This is Tyler Lewis with Phenon Hoops. On today's show, we have one of my favorite players in the class of 2021, Breon Pass. Thanks for being on here, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Breon is a gifted athlete making all state in both football and basketball. I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment. How do you feel like, I mean, you're one of the, probably the only athletes to ever do that, man. How do you feel about that? Uh, that's a big accomplishment. You know, I've been working hard my whole life and to see it pay off just uh, made me happy and made me want to strive for more. So I really just a big blessing. I love it. And recently you kind of made your decision of, hey, I'm, I, what made you pick basketball instead of football? Uh, really just following my heart and going with I know best. Uh, basketball been with me since uh, day one. You know, my, you know, my dad played. And I'm um, Old Dominion and uh, it's Georgia and so and play overseas. So I just want to follow his legacy and stuff. So, uh, you know, growing up, I've been a basketball player my whole life. Football came in probably like I say when I turned like seven because I'm from, you know, Reesville is a football city. So I had, to, I had to grow up playing football. So that's how it came along. Was it a tough decision whether like you're going to pick basketball or football? Did you ever think about playing both or were you like, man, I, I got to play basketball? Um, I, it was a, it was a big option for me playing both because I was so good at it. I didn't want to get one up. I love both of them the same way. So it was really hard giving uh, football up, you know, but um, it all can work out in my favor. So I think giving up football was the, like, probably the best decision and probably the hardest decision I ever made in my life. I love it. I love it. I think you made a good one, though. Good yeah, decision. I definitely did. Yep, man. Um, tell me a little bit about September 26th, what a special day that was, what kind of went into it, and just tell me a little bit about it and how, how it went about. Um, well, I cut, well, well, let me, well, I'm, I'm going to start from the start. From the start. Um, when I cut my list, uh, it was like uh, starting in September. And I didn't, I didn't plan on committing September 26th, none of that, until, like, I just had this dream or my mom was talking to me. And I was, like, September 26th is my dad's birthday. And so, really, everything is just timed up perfect. You know, I talked to, uh, you know, Coach Keats. And, and then from there, I just went, uh, I just committed to state on my dad's birthday. It was a very special day to me my family, my friends, for re really for everybody because, you know, my dad passed away last June. So it really, it's really a big day. Now, that's awesome that you were able to um, commit on your dad's birthday. I know how special that is to you. Um, I know recruiting you while I was at East Carolina and Elon, I knew how mm -hmm. close you were to your dad and how much your dad meant to you. So, I mean, I know that had to be extremely special for you and your family. Oh, yeah, definitely. So this past high school year, man, you, you put up exceptional numbers, man, averaging almost a triple-double after like 21 points, seven and a half rebounds, and almost seven and a half assists, man. What are you looking for to continue to build on your game this upcoming year, the senior year, and what are your goals for this year? Uh, my big goal for myself is really just be a leader because I'm a senior now. I was uh, I said I was a bit leader last year, but I didn't really have that role because I, uh, I was a junior. So this year I'm a senior and I was looking forward to like really just being a big leader and a big role model for all the um, youngins watching me play and stuff. So this year we have we have like a little young team. We still rebuilding and stuff. So really you start with leadership. And one of my main goals is leave here with championship. And that's the one thing I've been aiming for since my freshman year. I, 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 I had two in football. So to have one in basketball would mean the word to me. So, obviously, that's your main goal to win a state championship. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, obviously, I mean, if you had another football and have three on three on one hand and one basketball ring on the other, oh, that'd, yeah. be, that'd be pretty dope right there. Yeah, um, I, like that. I know, right? So, um, when did you first fall in love with the game of basketball? Um, I say when I was first born, man. You know, uh, when I was born, my dad just introduced me to basketball. I just fell in love with it. My sister played in uh, – she played AAU, uh, ended up her high school career, then played in college. So I feel like I was just born into a basketball uh, family. I love it. I love it. So I, I know, I, I think I know the answer to this question I'm about to ask you, but 
what or who is your biggest influence in your life? And what kind of motivates you to become the person and player that you are? Well, uh, you know, my dad, you know, uh, ever since he passed away, I didn't have a chip on my shoulder. This really just, I just been, I just been hungry for more, you know. Uh, I wasn't really recruited like I was, like I was supposed to be. And then after this summer, I just blew up and took off. I thought I stopped playing again. So, really, uh, when I was playing this summer, I thought about my dad and how he just pushed me and how he just talked to me about, like, hard work pay off and trust the process. So, I just I just felt like I lit it all out this year on, on a, my last year at AAU. And I felt like I left my mark down in Rock Hill, you know. So, I feel like this, this summer was probably the best summer of my life. Yeah, and I know I know um he was with you every step of the way too. Oh yeah, definitely. There, there's no doubt about that. And obviously you had one heck of a summer. And mm-hmm. um obviously I was proud of the not only see you um kill it this summer, but just continue to keep growing into being a man and just being a basketball player as well. Yes, sir. So um a- after after you're done with college or whatever, what is your lifetime goals? Uh, one of my goals is to come back and build like a big gym for my city because we know we're a small city. All we have here is YMCA's and rec center. We don't have no recovery, no like twenty four hour gym, none of that. So, really, my my biggest gym, my biggest goal is to come back and build like a big gym for all my um guys at the at Rizzo to have a, have a big gym to go somewhere. So that's one of my goals right there. I love it, and I know you put on for your city of Rizzo. Oh, yeah. And I know, I know you want to continue to build that legacy. And then all the people in Reesville, I know they're really happy to um, yeah, have you from there. And it speaks character that you want to do so much for the city once you're done. So mm-hmm. the first time, like, really, I ever seen you play was, I think it was East Carolina um, Elite Camp when oh, yeah, I was down right. there. I mean, and I, yeah, yeah. And I, I just remember you coming down there. I think you're going into 10th grade. And mm-hmm. – um you came down there, you still, you always had that chip on your shoulder and you just came out there and dominated the whole time. And then yeah, I think, I that kid. yeah. So, I mean, I think that's when I, that's when I was like, man, this kid's going to be special. And no matter you're a 10th grader, you're going against some of the best rising seniors. Then, then, didn't matter. Best player at the camp <laughs> was you, no doubt in my mind. So yes, why I kind of want to get into your recruitment. Um, why NC state and, like, how did it come about? Uh, I felt like it was the best fit for me and my family. Uh, Coach Keith, he's been with me since, uh, I say, I say, like, 10th grade. So he's been recruiting me very hard. And even my dad was in love with him. And so, really, my all my whole family was in love with Coach Keith. He felt like it was a good coach for me and my family. And it was just the best decision for me. Uh, basically, if it's my play style, uh, close, close to home, uh, some of my friends down there as well. So I think it'll really be a good a good decision. Oh, it's definitely going to be a great decision. Um, I was in your position too. Um, mm-hmm. Committed to NC State, signed at NC State, played there for two years. Um, man, I'll tell you one thing. It's one of the most passionate fan bases definitely in the mm-hmm. country, and you're going to love it down there. And I had yeah, two, two really good years there. Um, made two NCAA tournaments. So hopefully you'll be there for longer than two years. Or, yeah. or if you want to go pro, that's fine with me. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I know you're going to continue that success and you're going to kill it down there. And there's no doubt, man, you're, you're always going to have a fan in me. So, yeah, sure. um, so what are you looking forward to most, man, playing in PNC Arena and um, playing in the ACC? Like, what, what are you looking forward to? The competition, being able to put your name in the rafters, win championships, what is it? Um, I'm looking to achieve a lot of stuff at, um, when I get down there at NC State, you know. My main goal is win championship, you know. We have a long, a long time, so that's one of my main goals. And, you know, just to really just play with my my guys, Cam, Shaq, Nick, T, most of the guys that I know at NC State, just play with them and, like, really just form that bond, that closer bond. And, and for me, it's a player to get better. And so, um, you know, I'm ready to get down to Raleigh. You know, all my family and friends come down and watch me play all the time, close to home. And so – and then whatever happens from there, just happens, you know. Uh, I will leave my mark at NC State, leave my name in the Raptors, uh, win championships, and make it to the NBA. 
I love it. I love it. Those dreams are, I, I love them because it can definitely happen for sure. And sure. I know Coach Keats and that whole staff, man, they're lucky to have a person and player like you that's going to come in there and lead from day one. So, yes, so my, um, my last question. Um, so if you had to kind of clone yourself in a way, so you're playing yourself one-on-one, -on -one, are you getting a bucket or are you getting a stop? Uh, if I put myself one-on-one, -on -one, I would say I'll get a bucket because I know how to tap my weaknesses. So I know I know my, my strong points, my weak points. So I just – I say I, I, I would get a bucket. I love it. I love it. And I love the confidence that – the way you said it too. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to defend you because obviously defense isn't my strong point either. So <laughs> um, – but there we have it, man. I appreciate Breon being on the show today uh, nc state you're definitely getting a special player uh, but most importantly a better person and y'all are lucky to have him in your program for the next four years and you have anything to say man to the pack wolf pack nation uh wolf pack nation i'm coming i'm ready to work hard you know i'm not a i, I am a winner not a loser sounds so, good i love it go be on path winner baby i love it <laughs>